Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I'm going to show you all the things that I found at one of my very favorite rummage sales of the year. Um, I almost did not get there. Usually they advertise, and but they don't advertise until like very shortly before the sale. So I was searching all over the internet and the newspapers and everything trying to find out when this sale was. Uh, I had a feeling it might be the day that it was but I wasn't sure. So finally I got frustrated and I ended up emailing the church and saying you know when is your rummage sale and this was like a day or two before I thought the sale was going to go on and when they finally emailed me back I got the email at I think it was 930 on Thursday morning and the email said um, it's today <laughs> uh, and they said it starts in 20 minutes but the email had come in like almost an hour before that and I had just opened it at 930 so by that time it had been going on for a half an hour you have never seen a human being move so fast I jumped off the couch ran upstairs I still had you know sweats and a t-shirt on threw clothes on brushed my hair put on some lip gloss and mascara and was out the door I think in four minutes and then flew like a bat out of hell to this sale um, I'm surprised I didn't get four speeding tickets on the way there because it's about a half an hour away but I made it and I did find things I don't even want to think about the things that I didn't get but so be it there's a really really good sale coming up in a couple weeks so I'm really looking forward to that one that's another awesome rubber sale so the first thing I did was look under one of the tables because that's always where they stash all their needlework stuff so this <coughs> is what I found there. I found um, another one of these wood chips <clears throat> sorry wood chips early American sampler kit um, if you watched one of my previous videos recently I found a couple of these uh, at a moving sale so this one is complete that was 50 cents then I found this Fusilla baby quilt stamped cross stitch brand new in the package that was four which was a little bit pricey for them but since it was brand new in the package I decided to go ahead and splurge all right and I'll just show you these real quick this is another Bucilla kit it's brand new but it's just been opened that was 50 cents this is a vintage Bucilla needle crafts Alice in Wonderland doll again looks new but it's just open this is this might be Bucilla too but I'm not sure but it's a cruel embroidery box pillow so it's been started but everything seems to be there so for 50 cents I couldn't pass that up yeah these were all 50 cents except for the baby quilt this is a Paragon um, cross stitch kit uh, one of their sampler one of their sampler kits with everything that needs to be there another Paragon set this is another sampler Whitman number one sampler with everything in it so unfortunately there's no like colored pictures for some of those but I still should be able to sell them um, found this polo shirt I didn't really look into the clothes too much but this says Coogee Australia very colorful polo shirt but when I checked the completed listings some of these go for um, pretty decent price so uh, for a dollar fifty I figured I'd take a shot also found this this is a Dansk like Coben style black enamel Dutch oven. I think it's a four and a half quart. I think they also made a six quart. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the bottom of this is a disaster. The outside looks really good. The inside looks like garbage. So if anybody has any good ideas about how to clean this, I did see something about boiling 
baking soda and water on the stove and um, I might see if that works but if anybody else has any really good ideas I tried a magic eraser that did not work um, but any ideas on how to get this at least a little bit cleaner would be greatly appreciated this I think was two bucks yeah that was two dollars but some of those Dansk Coben style enamel pieces can go for pretty good money so that's why I picked it up I also found this. I don't know if it's homemade or what, but I just thought it was adorable. It was, I think it was either a dollar or two dollars. I think it was two dollars. It's this little box that looks like an old fashioned ice box. It's got four little rubber feet on it. And then when you open it up, it has one of the plastic inserts. I'm not sure if this is just like for a canister, if it's supposed to be for ice cream. I'm not sure if anybody knows let me know um, like I said it has no marks on it or anything but I just thought it was really cute it was unusual there's nothing else like it on eBay so I had to buy it um, let's see found these outside because they have an outside part and an inside part and it was this was pretty much the only thing I picked up outside um, I got two of these they're Riga outside, well they, well they can go outside or inside, um, lights. Only thing is they don't have the halogen bulbs in the box. They're supposed to come with halogen bulbs, but they are brand new except for the bulbs. Got them for five a piece. They sell online at Home Depot for like 50 bucks a piece. That's with the bulbs. So without the bulbs, I'm thinking 30 to 40 for each one of these. Um, let's see. Oh, I got another needlework. This is just the canvas, which is upside down. It's a Twas the Night Before Christmas canvas. It's also from Paragon. I don't know if this will sell because it has no instructions and no um, embroidery floss or a color picture or whatever. But for 50 cents, I'll slap it up there. I'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Oh, got a really big honking ashtray. This is a piece of stangle from right here in beautiful Trenton, New Jersey. There's also a stangle um, place here in town, which they've now converted like into a farmer's market. But this says um, coral here, which I'm not going to re really be able to see. But I tried to find this pattern online and I can't find it. So I'm hoping that's a good thing. I paid a buck for it. Um, the ashtrays, some of them are selling, some are not. This has a few flea bite chips. But I'm hoping that the rarity of the pattern might sell it for me. Also got this big, I think this is a 28 ounce. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. But that says 28 right there. 28 ounce coffee mug with Bugs Bunny playing soccer that was I think that was a buck then in the book section this is the only book I found this is a Betty Crocker's cookbook and this has the pie cover on it these wedges they call it the pie cover and this is pretty desirable I have no idea why so don't ask me I don't know um, this is a 13th printing, I think from 71 or 72, and it also has some extra pages in the front. This one has a, some happy holiday recipes from Sears. So I paid, I think, two for this. Should be able to make, I think, 15 to 20 on that because it's in really, really good shape. And also found another Wilton Armitol piece. I cannot for the life of me find out what pattern this is called. Um, it looks like, you know, lily pads to me. But anyway, it is marked on the bottom down there. It's a pretty sturdy piece. Uh, I paid, what did I pay for this? $3.50 for this. So hoping to make let's say 15 or 20 off of that then I did find some silverware I think I paid 
Did I write it down? Yeah. I paid $8.50 for this silverware. But it's vintage uh, Supreme Cutlery. It's a bamboo pattern. I should have no trouble selling this. Not sure yet if I'm going to split it up or sell it as a lot. But um, there's also a similar set made by um, Tao, T-O-W-L-E. I think they took over this company. So I think this is a little earlier than that set, but they look exactly the same. If this was marked with the towel mark, um, I'd have absolutely no problem selling it really quickly. Um, but without the mark, I'm not so sure. It'll still sell. This might take a little bit longer. Let's see. Um, got this really dumb little acrylic bow tie bowl from Wovo, but I bought it for a uh, dollar twenty-five, mainly because it was brand new in the box. And when I checked completed listings on these, some of these do pretty well. I don't know why, but they do. Um, let's see. Got. Of course, I got some mugs to show you guys. I got all these, I think, were 25 cents, 50 cents. Got these two cat mugs, with black and white cat, with little paw prints all over them for 25 cents a piece. They're from Homefront. Can't find anything else comparable on eBay. This was interesting. This is a whale mug. And it says Wiley 1981 on the bottom. There are a bunch of these on eBay. And if you look inside there, you can see it's one of those surprise mugs. It has a another little whale's tail inside. And I think I paid, I paid 75 cents for that one. And this one I think I paid 50 cents for. It's like a really soft sage green with these scrolls. And it says, follow your heart. Uh, there's no mark on the bottom. Bought it mainly because it's big. Um, very feminine looking. So I shouldn't have a problem selling that. It just might take a while because it doesn't have a mark on the bottom. Uh, let's see. This is a Penn State Auto Number. This is a big stamp. Where you can, you know, set the different set the dial for different numbers and stuff. That was a quarter, so I couldn't pass it up for that. Has the dried up ink thing and then whatever, I don't know what you'd do with this. Maybe this is what you turn the numbers with. Not sure. But mainly bought it because it was a quarter and it was in the box. Got two tiki mugs. These were a quarter each. I'm going to sell these together. These say Tiki Leilani on the bottom of them. They go for about um, five to ten a piece. Got one more ashtray, but there are a bunch of these, so I don't know how this one will do. It's a Derringer. Um, Point forty one. It says California 1850 and then it has a little history of the gun down there but I just thought it was interesting and it was pretty cheap. Yeah, it was a buck. And it's in really good shape. Got this little photo like souvenir photo book from Italy. This is um, Tivoli and there's a lot in here. There's a ton of pictures in this thing. So that was 10 cents or a quarter or something like that. Got one more mug. This is a Longaburger Woven Traditions Jumbo Mug. Got it for two bucks. Won't have a problem at all selling this because it is brand spanking new in the box. ceramic plate with the letter E on it. This is a, let's see, Francie Villa Vanilla Palm Beach. They made a whole series of these initial plates, so this might take a while. Um, I mean, it's a nice big chop plate, 
but still might take a while because you need somebody that needs this particular letter. But I think it was only a dollar, so that's why I picked it up. Pretty hopeful about this piece. This is a pipe stand with this dog on it. Looks kind of like an Irish setter. And on the bottom here it says Sirocco Wood S Y R O C O from Syracuse, New York. And I'm hopeful because some of these are selling pretty well. Uh, I know there's one with a horse that's selling pretty well, but I cannot find any with a dog like this on it. So fingers crossed. Um, that'll be the thing that makes this sell. Um, it's in really, really good shape. Oh, that's something new for me. Never bought uh, a pipe stand like that before. I think I bought one before, but it was really plain looking. Okay, and last but not least, there's a couple more things here. I got a set of these really cool acrylic like cocktail glasses. They're casino themed. This one says craps and has the two dice in the bottom on the green felt background. This one says big six and the ball goes around and around in there. We got roulette, same thing, ball goes, goes, goes around and around, there we go. And then this one is jackpot, kind of like, you know, the slot machine. You just shake these around like that. And then I got the instructions. These are from, found out these are from the How Company, H-O-W-W. They were made back in the late 70s, early 80s. I don't have the original box for them, but they're all in really good shape. Just really, really interesting. My kids were fascinated with them. Of course, my son said, why don't we have cool stuff like that? I go, because you would play with them for five minutes, and then you would never look at them again. So why am I going to keep them? That's why, you know, one of the reasons I do what I do, you guys get to see all these great things, and then, you know, they go on their merry way. So, the final thing that I bought there, and I'm really upset that it doesn't have a lid, but I did find this teapot, and it looked very vintage to me. It said Moby Dick, designed by Rockwell Kent Vernon Kilns, and I looked up the completed listings on eBay and loved what I saw. These with the lids, and there's different colors, there's yellow, blue, and red. Um, with the lids go over, uh, sell for over $200. This, like I said, does not have the lid and it has a flea bite chip in the spout, but for $3.50, I was not going to pass it up. Um, plenty of teapots on eBay sell without the lids. If you check teapot no lid in completed listings, you will see a ton of them that sell. So I slapped this up there yesterday for $50 uh, as a starting bid and we'll see what happens. So, that is it for my rummage sale. Lord knows how much more I would have bought if I actually got there on time. But, like I said, another really, really good one comes up in a couple weeks. So, I'm really excited about that one. I hope I get a lot of good stuff. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.